Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Trogdon! It's the same weed. It's not a different weed. Trogdon! Get frozen. Hey, the Get frozen. The cheat. I need you to come over here. I need you to bring me some, oh, some, some grumble cakes. <laughs> oh, hey, don't. Do you kiss your your hot mom with that mouth? Come on, the cheat. Go and get me some grumble cakes. Cakes. <laughs> hey, Stormbad, what's up? Are you answering your email today? Uh, yes, Baldy. I. But, uh. Hey, you know, I, I'm gonna fucking punch you. Pfft. <laughs> That's, that's my strong, bad, home star, and the cheat. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Now, how much of Homestar Runner did you watch? A lot. Oh, you did? I liked Homestar Runner. Dude, I fucking loved Homestar Runner. That was, yeah, like, was... the best show oh, ever. Shit. It was pretty funny. I still have a lot of the strong, bad emails, emails? memorized. But like, it's of... still up and running. You can still go to Homestar Runner. Yeah, my, my little cousin, she might be watching this right now. Hi. She, uh, how she old fr is she? She's, uh, she's like 15, I think. I think oh, she's doing okay, 16 okay, soon. Okay. Yeah, no, she, I watched Homestar Runner back when it was, like, in its heyday, when it was, like, really popular. Uh-huh. Uh, and she, she ended up watching it, and she kept watching it even past its heyday. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, no, she, she's seen almost everything on that website, and she's, Damn. she, she has drawings of Homestar Runner characters. She brought, she bought, uh, the Strong Bad Sings CD. There's and, a CD? Yeah, dude, there's cool. a CD, and, uh. Yeah, no, she's a huge fan. She has a poster in her room of all the characters. Nice. Yeah, she's a huge fan of that show. And This Frank, is really dark. It's hard to see the platforms. Should I turn off the lights? Uh, I'm good for now. Should I say, Alexa, turn off the lights? I mean, you can, but I I guess what I'm saying is I like the lights. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying you couldn't because you had to focus on the game. But that, that actually sounds kind of stupid now that I say it out loud. Oh, no, you're okay. <laughs> uh... I was saying, uh, I th one of my favorite Strong Bad emails was, uh, oh, son of a bitch. the one where somebody writes, Dear Strong Bad, every time I watch a cartoon with you in it, I can't help but realize how incredibly gorgeous you are. Want to go out sometime? Give me a call. Hopefully yours, Brian. <laughs> oh, well, well, Brian, maybe you heard. Wait, Brian! What the crap? <laughs> Look, Brian, unless Brian is short for Brian. Brian Rietta or Brian Sue or something like that. It's just not gonna work out, okay? <laughs> Sorry to crush your hopes and dreams, strong bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the fucking Who gods made one. that? Who made oh, uh, uh, Star Runner? Uh, it was. Two oh wow, this fucking goes here. Oh what? Fuck my. Did we just go in a circle? Sort of. Uh, no, that's fine. This is good. This is good. This is good. Is it? We, yeah, this is good. Oh, yeah, we have new weapons now, so we can now go to areas that we can unlock. For. Yeah. Oh, this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, we just couldn't get it through here because we didn't have this. All right, am I thinking of somewhere else? There's a few of these tunnel thingies. Yeah, there are. Uh, So, yeah, maybe I'm mixing them up, but uh, it's two Hell guys, actually. Yeah. They're, 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 they're called the Brothers what? Chaps. They're two dudes. I think they're in America, I'm pretty sure. In a marker? And uh, one of them... Did we get a notification to go somewhere, by the way? Maybe I have not seen one. I thought we did. Uh, let's see. So, Mike and Matt Chapman, I think that's their names. Okay. Chapman's the last name. And one of them has a wife named Missy, and she voices Marzipan. She does all the female voices, pretty much. Okay. Except for Team Girl Squad! <laughs> that's that's strong, bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that show was awesome. Yeah, I wanted us to go to Talon Overworld. Strong Bad has a little pool of lava. Homestar, put your head in here. You got it. <laughs> oh, oh God man, damn it. I watched the hell out of that show. Classic. Uh, Great tree hall. Wow. We mm. have to go this way. Fuck man, this. Man, you gotta freaking jog all over the map. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. All right. Well. How can anybody like Metroid Prime? It's the worst game in existence. I have more fun playing E.T. than this. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. No, 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 killing me, please. That's off limits. Open the fucking door! I'm just imagining during like a firefight with some people, it's like, guys, 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 stop for a second. Okay, time out. Time out. I need a heal! New rule. No killing, okay? Okay, okay. Alright. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? I'm Homestar Wonder. Homestar Wonder. <laughs>
I'm Homestar One. I have no arm. You know what? Talking about Homestar this long, the people who are not aware of Homestar Runner. Go check it out. HomestarRunner.com? Yeah, dude. Homestar Runner. They, I mean, they have them on YouTube now. But oh, really? But I mean, there's something about going that to the website. actual website. The fact that there's no totally. pause but button with any of the videos, any of the animations is kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a thing of the early 2000s before YouTube became a thing. But uh, you know what? You should watch them in their original format because there's so many Easter eggs you can click on while you're watching the animations yeah like sometimes you can find alternate scenes just by clicking on certain things <laughs> like do you remember the one where strong bad went insane he's like somebody said dear strong bad answer this email in the funniest way ever jason let's say i can take this floppy disk tape it to my forehead and act like the squeaky guy Lico, Lico, Lico. i'm a squeaky guy i got squeaky pants <laughs> he just goes insane <laughs> If you click the floppy disk on his head when he's, like, doing a screwdriver move on the ground, suddenly Homestar comes in and he's like, Uh, hi, Strong Bad. I, th- I thought you'd need help to do something funny, but, uh, I see you're covered, so never mind. <laughs> and you can only see it if you click on, on it. On YouTube. Or like, not who, on YouTube, sorry. In, in the original. Who yeah. the hell would guess to do that? I don't know. But, I mean, I did, so, okay. Nice. I guess my intelligence is slightly above average. <laughs> or your ability to click on shit. And I'm snooty as fuck about it. My ability to <laughs> click on shit. <laughs> I went to school for clicking on shit. <laughs> what have went... you done with your life? <laughs> well, Princeton is at college for learning how to browse Google. I took advanced college courses, unlike what you, the plebs. Fuck? Is that where you came from? God damn it. Oh, no. Oh, you went in a circle. <laughs> God, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, I want a circle. Hmm. Fuck, okay. All right, all right. Let's just go that way. Whee! My pain is off. Time to roll. Time to rock and roll. I'm funny. I want to rock. You know, you, you know I have the SpongeBob movie version of that song on my phone? Nice. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm a goofy goober. Rock. I freaking, you know what? I heard that song before I ever saw or heard I want to rock. Oh. So when I when I finally heard I Want to Rock shortly after, I was like, oh, it's based on a real song. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're both close they to my heart. They want to rock. See how there's, like, guys everywhere now? Where there yeah, dude. Before? No, I see. Dude, that, that's just, like, they do that in a lot of RPGs, you know, that, like, uh, oh. in freaking, uh, well, at least from my experience, uh, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, after yeah. you get, like, halfway through the game, you can go back through, like, the hub area and, uh, where there used to be like really easy enemies you could kill instantly, now there's suddenly super hard ones to keep oh. you on your toes. So you huh. actually level up. That's kind of cool. Yeah, no, it's it's smart thinking. Although sometimes I just like the easy areas thing easy, you know? It gives you a breath of some Easiness. time to breathe. Easiness. But I think in this game it makes sense because you have to backtrack so much. Yeah. It's not like you're just going back to check out these leisure areas. No you know what would be cool if Pokemon scaled to you? Like Scaled the Pokemon the games. So, did you play Sun and Moon? Uh, nope. I never played Sun and Moon. I heard it was pretty good. Yeah. No, I, I'm in I every think time. Sun and Moon Two is coming out soon. Uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's already out. I think. Oh. <laughs> really? We're in the loop. <laughs> Damn. Oh well, then maybe I want to get Sun and Moon. Well, it probably hasn't dropped in price. Anyways, I heard it was very good. Mm. Um, yeah. People. Uh, or. <laughs> I think it would be cool if Pokemon. Oh yeah. When you. Diarrhea, don't do it on the couch. Uh-oh. Ugh. Well, then again, this is your space mansion, so I guess I shouldn't tell you what to do with your space mansion. God damn it. Would it have been a lot faster for me just to... Yup. <sighs> Where are we going? There we're going this way, god damn it. Yeah, anyways, you were saying Pokemon? Oh, uh, Pokemon bullshit. Don't remember. Oh, yeah, it would be cool if in Pokemon games, the shit, like, uh scale to you uh you mean like the level of the pokemon yeah the level you fight? of pokemon you're fighting so instead of staying at a set level they yeah like scale. in pallet town the pokemon are level two right ah. like what if it's like whatever pokemon you first battle the random pokemon with let's say you equip a level 33 ampharos for example i don't know why i'm picking that pokemon in that level but uh <laughs> mm-hmm. i wonder why uh, yes. then maybe you fight a level 30 something, 
But if you equip a level 90 Charizard, you fight a level 85 or something. You know what I mean? Ah, okay. So that would be kind of nice. I mean, I guess, like, the sense of progression is, like, coming back to old areas and being like, Hey, what's up, bitches? Look how powerful I am now. You guys are a bunch of pussies compared to me. But no, I, I think that idea also has uh, some... Oh, you can... Oh, awesome. You can jump over it now. All right. I pointed that out like 20 episodes ago. Wow. Right after we got double jump, we went here and I was like, oh yeah, by the way, now that I have double jump, I can double jump over this. Well, uh, it's, it's been a long day, Elliot. Sure has. This one will be a long episode just because we'll get to the spot. Save point. Ish. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the beginning area. I think that's where I gotta go. Fuck. It's too bad you can't warp, you know? I know, dude. Tell me about That'd it. That'd be nice if you could do that. Can you do that in Metroid Prime 2? hell. No, I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think there's as much backtracking. I don't remember there being as much backtracking. Okay. And maybe you can warp to certain areas. I oh, I remember this area. You almost died here. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh god, oh god, oh jeez. Oh, You're gonna die. You're gonna die. No, no, I'm not. Ah. Oh, I freaking hate those things. It's too annoying. Just okay. Let me do this. All right. We need to go to. Showed ruins. No, oh, there's oh, there's an area right there. Yeah, but that's not the fucking zone. God damn it! <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? I wonder how many people are like just gripping like, the sides oh of their monitor right there, like God. You fucking morons. Are you serious? Okay, 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 okay. Also, we're going back to the forest area. Talon overworld. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's where I thought we had to go. Oh, okay then. Cool. So it's going to be kind of close to... We'll, we'll save at the uh, main ship, okay. and then we'll we'll exit this this episode. Okay. That's a good spot for exiting the yeah. game. Ooh. Dog. Oh, Trace! Did I hear something break back there? Uh, nothing, Pappy. <laughs> uh, are you fucking kidding me? Watch, it's going to tell me to go somewhere totally else... Fucking bastards. Is it me or is the music creepier than God usual right damn now? damn it. It wants me to go back to the fucking room with the fucking spinny bullshit. What? I I'm not going there right now. Yeah, screw that. Fuck that. Jeez. We're going to the other one. At least we are getting close to the end of the game, I believe. Hmm. Clothing in. Because we need to get one more various suit upgrade. Uh, which makes us, like, dark. And then... We need to get the fire beam mm, cannon. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's it. Flame no, wait. Killer. Maybe there's another visor? No, maybe there's only three. I can't think of the last one. Because I think we don't get the phase on visor in this one. I think that's only in the second game. I don't really remember that well. Hmm. Chode ruins. Hey, <laughs> this is slightly off topic. You know what one of my favorite moments in Samus Returns was? What? One of the hardest bosses you have to fight in the game is a... I guess I won't spoil what the boss is, but it, it's a boss that kind of follows you around for a little while, and you see it every now and then, and it, it just keeps smashing things in your way and just being a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Finally, when you get to fight the boss, it's, like, super hard. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> when you finally beat it, Samus is just looking the other way, and as as the boss is dying, it tries to, it tries to collapse on you or try to take one last chance to mm -hmm. kill you and Sam is looking the other direction she just puts her arm up and just goes Pow! nice not even looking it's like oh you're such a fucking badass awesome yeah Samus is a fucking badass in that game I mean I guess in general but like she's every single boss. I wouldn't want to fucking deal with the shit she has to deal with in this game but you know, like it's like every time like she goes up to a boss like sometimes I'll feel intimidated by a boss it's like oh oh god here's a big one this is gonna be crazy she never shows any fear well I mean you can't really see her face so. yeah she could be like fucking pooping her pants no you not, not according to her body language she's just like oh. Ugh. yeah cause it's a fucking she's like mm. like the way she actually moves her body she's like yeah no Maybe. fear I'm gonna fucking kick your ass it's like damn you know, damn that's actually something I've noticed in Nintendo games that they do a lot they, the main characters are always like Stoic. They're always just like one character, small character, going up against huge badasses. Like Mario's, like kind of. Mario would be kind of like the underdog because he's like the little short guy, and then he he's able to kick ass. And then you got oh, Link, God. who's just a kid, and then he kicks Pretty major true. ass. You know. Yes. It's like I the know. underdogs. 
Reactor core. What? Okay. I guess, I don't know if Samus quite fits that bill, but, you know, she's just a, a person. She just a person, just a doggy. She's just fucking awesome. She's but, duh, just a doggy. It's just like Nathan Drake, you know? He's freaking awesome, but at the end of the day, he is still just a man. He is still just Nathan Dirk. <laughs> Nathan Dark. Nathan Dirk. Nathan Darpy. Oh boy, we almost there, kids. This one's a longer episode, just for all the, the shorter episodes, I guess, to make up for that shit. <laughs> mm hmm. James. Yeah. What is one thing you would like to tell our audience for the next week, even though it's only going to be a week or two for us and not for them? They're going to be able to click on the next episode probably right now. Uh. Um. Hmm. I, uh. Do not shave your ass hairs. I'll tell you more about that next time on the show. I mean it. Don't fucking do it. <laughs>